Is part of the problem with piracy just that it's easier? Forget about the money aspect of it. Forget about all the commerce. Does piracy and legal comics have a usability problem in acquisition? But I, I think they do, actually. Hey there, this is Perch. Um, there, you know, there every few weeks or so, although it's coming with more regularity, um, creators will kind of lash out a bit at the fans. And I, I want to say, I mean, with good reason, I, I don't necessarily think they help their cause, but I can definitely understand uh, creators getting frustrated when they see, you know, their books being downloaded uh, 80,000, 90,000 times. And meanwhile, the actual sales are you know, sub 20,000, their editors are saying that they're about to get canceled. I, I mean, that's a frustrating situation. I, I don't think, I mean, I, I think everybody could agree with that, that this, that's not, that's not good. Um, and I completely understand why a Donnie Cates or a, a, a Jim Zub or one of these people would get irritated when their books are, are stolen. And I think on top of that, several fans like to poke at that wound by going, you know, hey, I, I would buy your comic, but it's, you know, it's too expensive. Probably true, but maybe that's not something you say directly to the creator. Or maybe they say, you know, your your content is trash, that's why I pirate. You know, that's, that's just being rude, uh, frankly. So, of course, people are going to snap back. I think the reaction when one of these creators uh, says something, and then there's this, I can't believe the creators would be so unprofessional as to complain about piracy. It's like, uh, you know, I mean... Uh, could they have handled it better? Probably, but of all the things for a creator to kind of lose their mind about and throw a tantrum about or get really pissed about, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to the piracy one. I mean, think put it this way. I, I, you know, I think there's a lot more sanity to a creator getting mad about piracy than, say, a creator getting mad about, you know, that their inker voted for Trump. I think that's a more irrational thing to air out in public, whereas somebody stealing my books uh, pretty <laughs> checks out. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but that was not what the video was about. The video is about, about, is piracy just easier? And the answer is yes. I mean, absolutely piracy is easier. And to prove it, um, the, uh, you know, I had somebody come and approach me and say, look, watch this. And they're, you know, they're there with their, you know, picking up comics, buying a pull box. And meanwhile, on their little laptop there, they have, you notice when you get older, you start inserting adjectives into things. It's like the little, the like the, it doesn't need those adjectives. I don't know why I do that. Just age sucks. Don't, don't let it happen to you folks. Keep that vocabulary slim. Read fewer books. That's what I'm telling you. But they, they basically went and found, um, you know, they basically searched Nemesis 43 over in Google. And, you know, sure enough, two clicks later, they were in, uh, I think, Kick-Ass Torrents. I don't remember. It was, this was a bit ago. And there's you know, Marvel week, and there's everything that came out from Marvel, and it's like one click, and it starts downloading, and it's it's everything. I mean, the guy's like, here's all the comics, and I'm like, get the, you know, I'm, I'm, get, get the F out of my store, but also, I didn't say that out loud, but I'm, but there's a lesson there, and the lesson that I do think some of these creators, or more, more than the creators, the companies need to start acknowledging, is that piracy forget about the money, is just a lot easier to just consume on every level in terms of searching. Um, in, in some cases, you can search for comics and the torrent or the pirated book will show up before the legitimate book because Comixology does a terrible job indexing and Marvel's site, uh, you know, it's time to, to pony up some cash and update your site and your, your indexing. Your, your, your site sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, there's basic web things that anyone with any intelligence could fix for you, but it's just, it's easier to search. It's easier to find. It's easier to start down. It's downloading. And I, I mean, this may be my imagination. I don't go and I pirate books, but I'm pretty sure that the speed at which I watched this thing download was faster than what I've seen from Comixology. And again, don't, don't quote me on this. Don't, I could be way, way off. But it was, it was seemed like a faster, um, I'm interested in what Marvel's, well, and then there's two parts. Of it. I'm interested in this comic. I need to get it. it. was very quick and scary. I mean, I think that's, there's a scary aspect to this 
that if the comic publishers don't figure out, it's it's not even about money. It's just about speed. It's it's the old time is money scenario. It's just, it's just too much faster to steal, which is bad news. And then the other piece I think that is really kind of money on the table, I've talked about collections and anthologies before. I mean, I was shocked to see, and, and maybe you guys who, who pirate regularly, this isn't shocking to you, but I was very surprised to see that these people are not just, you know, putting up pirated books, they're putting up collections, they're they're putting up the whole thing. Like, I'm curious to see World War Hulk from, you know, more than 10 years ago. Well, click this and you get all of the issues sorted into directories with everything you need. And that's that's horrifying. I mean, it's just you can instantly consume this entire run, one click, very very fast. Now I'm I'm bothered here because you know in in just talking this through, it feels like I'm giving a big promotion to pirating, and I'm not. It's still still stealing, still legal, still wrong to do. Don't do it. And this isn't one of my don't do it kids wink. It's like no, you eventually. I think there is going to be a, a crackdown on some of this stuff, and a bunch of people are going to get caught with their pants down. There'll be a, a horrible day for some people. Um, like, and and no matter your uh, oh, I use a VPN, I'll never get caught. Yeah, I'm pretty. Sure, you know, don't count on that. <laughs> eventually, eventually, everything seems to come around, and uh, you know, no matter how much people think they're getting away with things, it it never seems to last. That's just been my experience in life. You know, hope you don't have those same experiences. I've watched a lot of people get in trouble, but uh, piracy is wrong. Hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But the ease of which things can be pirated, the complete collections that are done, the fact that you can, with you know one or two clicks, I don't know if anybody's doing um, all the comics that come out in a week, but I saw people group them as Marvel Week, DC Week, Image Week, Three clicks, and you can have the big three right there pretty fast. Um, I don't think there's a equivalent functionality over there in Comixology. And part of the reason is when you do that, you know, you'd see your bill like pay $98, which would be a bit of a bit shocking. Um, but that's, that's a big problem. And so I think as we combat piracy, it needs to be more than just a shaming effort of you're doing something wrong. Yes, people are doing something wrong, but it also has to be a solution. You can't just say this bad. You have to actually offer up an alternative for how things need to be done. And if the answer is, well, you know, I'm just going to I'm just going to tell people it's stealing and it's wrong and they should use the crappy old solution that, you know, is a website that's very old. It's indexed very poorly. That you know, Comicsology is is kind of tough to navigate through at times. I mean, if if that's if your only solution is, hey, morally it's wrong, so use this old crap. That's not going to win the hearts and minds of people, and you're just you're going to have people pirating, not just because of the money they're saving, but because it's just flat out easier to do that. Um, I have known people. I've I've met people who pirated when they were in college and when they were quote unquote poor, still wrong by the way, but they pirated books and then they got their job, they got money and they just kept pirating. And part of it was, you know, if you get used to not paying for something, you're just going to keep not paying for something. You don't just voluntarily go pay. I know that flies in the face of what a lot of people say. The piracy defenders will often tell you that, oh no, no, as soon as I've got the money, I'll, I'll go back and I'll pay for all this. They don't. That, that doesn't, that doesn't occur in any kind of numbers that you know, lots of studies have shown that, that that is not the normal case. But on top of that, why would you? If it was going someplace, doing a quick search, and, and you wouldn't even do that search if you pirated regularly because you'd have these torrent sites all bookmarked, just click three times, get all the comics for the week, and you're done. I mean, it, it's like you could go to your computer, hit you know, click, 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 and then go off and play a video game, whatever you're going to do, come back 10 minutes later, and you've got, you know, 50 comics on your laptop, you're done. It doesn't get easier than that. And that's, that is the, uh, that's the fundamental problem I think comics have, and it's a fundamental problem that people need to solve. And you're going to have to solve that with a solution. That solution is going to have to be faster downloading, faster sharing, yes, better prices, 
but just ease of use. And it's, you know, the comiXology has some collections, there are some, but it's, they're not keeping up with, I, I don't know who these people are, this Nemesis uh, 43, I may even have that wrong, but I, you know, who knows who this guy is, I mean, he's just some, some random, you know, guy who works in a deli somewhere, I, I don't who knows, but they, you know, these big multi-million, or in some cases, billion dollar companies shouldn't be getting smoked by a bunch of who knows just the randos out there that that <laughs> that shouldn't be and yet and yet it is so i would like to see more creators and more importantly more publishers start to acknowledge the fact that yeah piracy is a problem but one of the problems it exposes is that the usability of getting comics and consuming content is terrible and to really fix the solution that's going to have to change what do you think Leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the matter. I'm trying to take a nuanced approach to piracy because just screaming about it one way or another is it's not solving anything, folks. So we have to actually really dig into to what the true problems are. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So would love your thoughts on the matter. Otherwise, hey, like, subscribe if you like what you heard. Would love a subscription. Um, follow me on Twitter at Comic Perch. And most importantly, thanks for listening.